Hey guys, Dr. Brian Wickstrom here with River City Chiropractic and we're continuing our series talking about uh, digestive issues today and in this particular video we're going to be uh, discussing the gut-brain connection. So many times people just think of, of chiropractors as more spine or bone doctors. In all reality we're actually more nerve doctors because the only reason that I'm concerned with your spine is because its main purpose is to actually to surround and protect your central nervous system, which is the system that's running and, and controlling everything that's going on in your body throughout the day. And so today we're gonna to be talking about, the when we're discussing digestive health, one of the nerves that you really need to be aware of is the vagus nerve, okay? And so the vagus nerve is the longest nerve in your body. It's part of your parasympathetic nervous system, which is a part of your autonomic nervous system. And it, its uh, main purpose is kind of the, the rest and digest, or it's the, basically the, the, the brake pedal, which is when your body really does a lot of the dige digestion, your immune system functions and things like that. But the vagus nerve comes off the upper part of your neck here, and you can see it's this blue nerve here. So it goes out to your heart, goes out to your lungs, goes out to your digestive system. And so it's a key part in regulating your blood pressure, your heart rate, your digestion, your lungs working, your, your breathing, all those sorts of things really tie in with your, your vagal tone. In fact, they've done uh, studies that they looked at uh, individuals who had been diagnosed with uh, Crohn's disease or IBS, and they found out that they had a uh, low vagal tone, so there's uh, issues, their vagus nerve wasn't working very good, or there was a disconnect or interference with those messages getting from those organs to the brain and vice versa. And then in some studies, they've uh, actually physically cut the nerve in mice and they found out that they had uh, 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 more issues with stress response. So they had higher levels of stress hormones in their body, which shuts down your digestion and amongst other health problems that can come from just having the additional stress. And so uh, when we look at somebody's spine, so say you don't cut the nerves, but if your spine itself or the vertebrae here that make up your spine and protect your nervous system get out of alignment a little bit, and that can happen from car accidents, that can happen from you know spending too much time on the computer, how you sleep at night. So that causes you to lose these curves or the bones get out of place, and that damages the nerves there, and that can disrupt those messages getting you know to and from the body. And specifically, if that happens in the upper neck here, that can really start to affect your vagus nerve. Uh, which can lead to you know, many problems, including you know, digestive issues. And so that's one of the key things that we look at when we're evaluating a, a patient in our office is we do a history, we do an exam, we do uh, you know, range of motion, orthopedic testing. We also look at x-rays too, motion studies. And so we can see specifically where those misalignments or subluxations are in the spine. And if you're dealing with some of those issues like digestion or heart rate, blood pressure, you may have problems up here in your upper neck and it might be something that chiropractic can help you out with. And so uh, first step is just, you know, starting with a comprehensive exam and, and, and then we can kind of go from there and find out, you know, if it's something that, you know, we might be able to help you out with. So I uh, hope this video was helpful for you. You got a lot out of it and we'll see you in the next video and, and keep talking about digestion.